In this video, we will look at how to set up this Wi-Fi IP smart camera. And so we will be exploring the various ways by which you can link this camera to a mobile phone. I already have my lamp holder ready. And so I'll fit the camera into the holder by screwing it up into the lamp holder. So I'll go ahead now and turn on power to the lamp holder. You can see that power is present in the camera as shown on the camera. The camera is now initializing. Now that the camera is ready, we will refer to the user manual where we will scan this QR code in order to download the manufacturer's recommended app. So with my phone's camera, I will scan the QR code. Open this link that is shown in order to download and install the app. Now that the app is ready, the first method I would like us to explore is the use of Bluetooth to link the camera to the app. So we'll first turn on Bluetooth on the phone. So I'll slide on my phone, turn on Bluetooth. And then we'll go back and launch the app now. This is the app, we'll tap it to open. This is the home page of the app and you can see that it has automatically discovered the camera through Bluetooth. You can just tap on connect and that brings us to the point where we can connect internet into the camera. And you can see that it has as well detected my Wi-Fi internet which is listed here. You need to put in your Wi-Fi password and then tap on next. You would have to confirm your Wi-Fi name and password. Tap confirm. It's connecting. You have the opportunity to name the camera or you can rely on any of these names that are here. I'll choose office and get started. It is recommended to have your Wi-Fi close to the camera. So just go ahead and tap on next. Wi-Fi checking completed. Tap done. Get started. You can just tap here to view the live video. Let me adjust the camera well. So what we have just seen is the first method where you can use Bluetooth to link the camera to the app. So I will go ahead now and delete the camera from the app so that we can try the next method. So I will confirm delete. And so we are back to the home page of the app. We will add a new device by tapping on add. Because we are not using Bluetooth this time around, we will not go to the Bluetooth settings. So we will tap on I got it. We will add the camera by QR code this time round. So we'll tap here, tap here, tap on next. It is searching for devices. It has seen my Wi-Fi and so we'll have to input the Wi-Fi password. Tap on next. We'll have to confirm the Wi-Fi details. At this point, you'll just have to point this QR code to the face of the camera and the camera will be linked to your app. But in case this method fails, the next method is to use the AP hotspot configuration method, which is an option after the QR code method fails. So we'll just tap on AP hotspot configuration here. This page gives us an idea about how the camera's hotspot name may look like. So just go ahead to connect. It is searching for available hotspots. This is the camera's hotspot name that is listed here. I'll select it. 
it is connecting. We'll now go back into the app. So I'll tap here, go back again. Exit this. You can see ad successfully shown here. You can tap on the play button to view the live camera. The device is currently in the AP mode and not connected to the internet. You cannot watch the camera. So we'll tap on connect the device to the internet now. So I'll select my internet Wi-Fi, enter the Wi-Fi password. Confirm. Network configuration successful. Confirm. So tap again to view the live video. You can see the live video now. All these buttons are for various settings that you can carry out on the system. They are very user friendly and you can explore them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please ensure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.